Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Your Ultimate Team, where you guys get to build a team. Last episode, we picked up the infamous George Peros, and today, we're going to be picking up this comment right here, the Clapperton. Uh, I'm going to see how much he costs, and we're going to add him into the team. Alright, so I'm going to buy him out. He is a 63 overall. But you know what? It is an upgrade. He's still a bronze card, but you know what? I'll take him. Before we start this video, check out NHL Coin Market in the link in the description box below. Use CHOP for a 5% discount. Alright, so we threw in the Clapperton into the center spot for on the first line with John Scott and George Peros. Pickups from the last episode, I kind of want to give him as much playing time as possible. So throwing him out to the center spot, even with the stats, is not half bad. But before we start, I want to quickly show you some stats. We are currently in Division 9, 3 points away from Division 8. We still got 8 games left to get that Division 8 title, which I think we'll be able to pull off. But, uh, I want to quickly show you another stat here. Let's go to my team, and the person with the most points, as you can see, is Adam Hall. 7 goal and 4 assists so far. He's the only player that has played 6 games and received double digit points already so he's probably one of our better players so far. You might want to try him out if you haven't. But all jokes aside, I know that we picked up the Clapperton but he is back on YouTube. If you want to check out his YouTube channel, uh, I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to click that link to lead to his new channel so you guys can subscribe to him. Alright so let's really start this game up now. Okay so right before we start this game, I just kind of want to ask if there should be some new rules added into your ultimate team. I feel like if we win a game, we should deserve something. If we lose a game, we should also get a punishment for sure. Uh, right now, it just seems like we're always winning. We're six in a row win so far, and it doesn't seem like we're going to drop off anytime soon. I know these guys are not bad at all, but their teams are the greatest uh, for sure. I know how to take care of Division 9 players. But you guys let me know in the comment box below some new rules that I should add into your ultimate team that will make it more fair as well as more exciting for you guys to watch. Woo! Almost scored a goal right there. Oh, beautiful goal! Couple passing plays and Silverberg tucks it into the net. Oh, there it is. Saucer pass to Hall. Hall almost tucking one in. Come on, give a pass to DR Dan. No goal. Come on, get the puck. Oh, the Clapperton has a break. What is that guy doing back there? Oh, and the Clapperton still tucks in 5 hole. Absolutely ruthless. Oh, no helmet. Who is that guy? Backhander. Oh, gets laid out on the breakaway. Peros, come on. He cannot tuck one in. I'm... I'm not even kidding, guys. He just does not know how to score goals. Fuck. There it is. Get a goal. Hall oh, missing the net. Silverberg. Set up a play there. Set up a play. Shoot. Oh, what a miss. Oh, come on. I was trying to go over the flying poke check, but he does score a goal, making it 2-1. to one. Oh, there is a goal. John Scott, the 6-8 monster, scores a goal. That was, once again, really similar to the Hunt Roulette goal that Henrik Lundqvist let in. He kind of just trickles by the line, but the goalie still pulls it out. Still counts as a goal. No need to check for another one. Whew! There's another one. He took my goalie out of the net, and he still was managed to score the goal without a goalie interference call. But that makes it 3-2 to two in the second period. Oh, Silverberg set him up there. Oh, and Thompson scores one from the side of the net. 4-2. Oh, come on! That is so bogus. I know he did score that goal, but I was poke checking him the whole time. He still was able to gather up the puck and score 5 hole on Clemenson. But then again, it is Gore versus Bobby Ryan. Bobby Ryan's going to win most of those battles anyways, but it is now 4-3 in the third period. There it is. Sauce it right over. Oh, come on. Who was that? He couldn't score a goal, but Delil, No! Oh, that was a suicide pass. Wiggle cannot tuck her. Come on. Pass it up to Burroughs. Back to Static. Low shot in net. Oh, come on. Shoot it. Shoot it. Oh, Harding. Another big save. Hall's got the puck. Hall's got the puck. Back pass to the defenseman. Oh, the goalie. There's no way the goalie saw that one. Maybe he won't see this one either. Cross! Oh my god, the bronze player shooting is horrible. Get it on net! Once again, we lose another goal in the third period. That is so bad! 
board of four now. He takes a shot from the top of the circle, just trickles in five hole once again. EA, you gotta fix your game here. There's just nothing you can do. Hits the chest and goes straight down. The goalie's stuck in that animation. He's gotta do something about that. It's literally just straight on, which is the worst part about these goals. Alright, so it looks like it is going into overtime. Unfortunately, once again, we have tied the game. I think this is the first ever tie we've ever had, but 36 to 18 in shots, 11 minutes time on attack to 4. This is outrageous, guys. Alright, there we go, Hall. Snipe one in. That is going to end the game. I did not want to end it off with a win out or with a loss or a tie. I wanted to keep the streak going, so now we are on a seven game win streak. Usually, scoring these snipe goals or whatever you want to call them, glitch goals, they come very easy in Division 9 for some reason. I try to avoid them the best as I can, but that was just a hard like game to play. Even though I was dominating the whole time, I did not get a single bounce. I still was able to come out with a win. We're 3 0 oh, 0 oh, in the season. We had 40 shots a game and 21, almost tripling his diamond attack. We got one breakaway. He actually got two breakaways. But, anyways, let's go back into the market and let's play one more game. Alright, so to speed up the process, I am going to buy a player for the second game. Uh, I'm also going to choose from the comments the most upvoted comment. And the second one is Paul Biznasty. But if you actually check the market, there are no Biznasties on sale for really cheap prices. They're both up for a million coins, which I can't do anything about. But I think the next player I'm going to pick up is this one here, suggested by X-Tech. I'm going to buy him out in two seconds. Alright, so we're going to buy the man himself, Ole Jokin, and He is playing for the Leafs right now, which is kind of funny. But we're going to add him, add him into the team and see where he fits in. Alright, so we added in Ole Jokin into our first line. And I have to say, guys, this is probably the worst team I have seen ever in my life. George Paris. Ole Jokinen, Clapperton. We got Hall, Th Thompson, Scott, Silverberg on the third line with Dardan and Wiggle. We got eight gold players and only, I think, seven of them or six of them are just rares and two of them are really rare gold players. So, this is how our team is looking. We might need a couple good pickups in the future, right? Maybe not suggesting all these um, enforcers and grinders, but if that's what you want, you guys can suggest in the comment box below. Anyways, let's start up the second game. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we're starting up the second game here. Let's see who he has. He has, I think that's Garbit Stastny. I don't know who's uh, on his other side there, but we're gonna get this game going. Let's get a couple goals here. That's Patrick Horvitz. Sorry. Oh, the new pickup, Ole Okunin, doing some dangles and deeks, but nothing there. All right, Wiggle, set something up. Set up a play. Pass it there. Shoot. Oh, nice pass to Silverberg. Go Wiggle! And he gets the return favor back uh, from I don't know who it was, but there it is. One to nothing early in the first period. Oh, Scott with a breakaway. Come on, Scott. Yes, there it is. Finally, we score a breakaway. Two to nothing. There it is. Oh, back to back goals. Oh, Adam Hall just missing by a little bit. Let's set him up. And there is a third one in the first period still. I think that was Thompson. Who snipe one in, making it three to nothing. Oli, come on, Oli, you got this, you got this, buddy. Oh, come on, it's lagging. Get out of here, get out of here, lag, and just snipe one for us. Oh, it's got some very colorful pads for a goalie. Oh, holy boy, let's see what you got here. Through the legs, come on, keep going, keep going, shoot. Oh, it hits the post. Oh, nice move, nice move. Oh, come on. Set him up. Shoot it. Oh, he scores a goal with Ryan Garbett, making it 3-1. to one. There it is. Nice setup. There it is. Another goal. 4-1. to one. I think that was Ole Jokinen. The new pickup on his debut scores a goal. All right, swap sides. Swap sides. Give it to Gambi. Gambi, get in position. Position. Oh, no, don't pass it to Hall. All right, we'll, we'll take the goal anyways. McBride, what a save. Come on, Hall. Get in there, get in there, get in there. We got to do a strong power play here. I know that we're leading 4-1, to one, but I want a couple more goals. All right, so we did come out with the victory, and you can see there, he did want to quit the game. He rage quit it, but we got 18, 6 in shots, 11 minutes time on attack to 2. We absolutely outplayed him. We got 3 breakaways, 20 faceoffs, 1-0. to zero. That is absolutely insane.
Alright guys, so that is going to be the end of the episode. We end up with a whopping total of 6,783 coins, so you guys can let me know in the comment box below what player I should pick up next. Help each other out. Next episode is going to be very exciting because we can win the Division 9 title. We will get 850 coins just for winning that title, and we have six games to get it, which I think we can do. That's just about it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave it a like if you did enjoy. Comment, upload some comments, and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the next one. See you guys.